April 15th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to begin with a volcanic eruption in Kamachka, Russia. 14 April 2011, a strong explosive eruption of Besmani volcano on Kamachka began last night, raising the alert code to red for the region, says meteorologists. With preliminary reports of ash at least 33,000 feet, uh, the volcano's activity could affect international and low-flying aircraft and climate. Uh, what they failed to mention is that this ash cloud is rolling right over uh, the radioactive zone from Fukushima. Over to Japan, Tokyo, Japan. This is off the um, UB Alert Network. Radioactive level from groundwater at Fukushima power plant increases 10 times. Op operator source have reported that radiation level from groundwater at the Fukushima nuclear power plant has increased tenfold in a week as to Thursday. The Nuclear Safety Agency for Japan has declared the radiation level is continuing to rise. Tokyo Electric Power stated that 660 tons of contaminated water have been removed from the trenches and put into a condenser which is able to hold up to 3,000 tons inside reactor number one and three basement buildings. A total of 60,000 tons of waters were found to be contaminated. Removing water from the reactors is key to restoring the cooling systems at the reactors. Now, they were saying yesterday or the day before that it might take up to six months just to get the cooling systems back up so they can start. <sighs> Disassembling or fixing. So there's six months of this crap spraying water. Where are they going to put it all? And they're wondering why um, they're finding plutonium off the coast of South Korea. Over to the extinction protocol. Landslide sweep bus off a cliff in Colombia. Fifteen people have died. Of course, they've been having extensive rains and uh, non-stop action. I've been reporting on and off for the last couple of weeks, and uh, more landslides continue. Got a five-point nine earthquake off the coast of uh, Nicaragua. And uh, here we go, New York, wildlife expert warns of exploding population of feral hogs on New York State. So with the chickens down in uh, the Big Easy and all the feral hogs in Texas, uh, New York survivalists will have bacon to look forward to when shit hits the fan. Because um, this is a serious problem um, they're saying they definitely need to address. Well, they've got another story, uh, a bunch of bug infestations, a page from the apocalypse, plagues of flies, worms, and bees. Uh, caterpillars gone wild in Indonesia. Um, United Kingdom, we have a bee story where a bunch of these bees apparently hived on this lady's car. Um, India, they're talking about wild bees attacking people. New Zealand, a thick swarm of small, hairy, fatty critters are invading homes over southern Canterbury in a plague proportions. Cluster flies season has returned with a vengeance, leaving weary homeowners vacuuming daily and battling the sprays to keep the thousands of mites from taking over their home. And uh, weren't they having uh, caterpillar problems not too long ago, along with the mice running out because of all the flood systems? Uh, just the crazy weather they're having is having an effect across the board. It's definitely affecting the ecosystem. And uh, these are results of that. Um, the official guess is 400,000 could develop cancers within 200 kilometers of Fukushima. <laughs> I think they're kidding themselves there. Over to uh, the Watchers. They have a state of emergency declared for the Canadian flooding. Uh, the annual spring floods have already taken their toll across the Canadian prairie provinces of Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta, where states of emergencies have been declared. Um, they do this to help so they can get the financing and the, the help 
to uh, rebuild after these floods that continuously. So not only is the northern United States um, Midwest underwater, so is Canada. It's just we're we're soaking and um, Texas is burning. Uh, they've got a bullshit global warming story. Cold snaps will persist in warming world. That is just an oxymoron brought to you by the same scientists that want to bring you carbon tax. They're still talking about it. R rising rivers swell across the United States Midwest. And again, um, we're having floodings here as well. And uh, Al Sarat season starts to bother Kuwait. And this is the big dust storms that I've been reporting on off and on. They're, they're getting these big, it's just that time of year, and it's, and it's literally like in the movies where this big, huge cloud of sand and dust comes rolling through, and it disrupts the traffic and the airflow and, and commerce and all of that, and we can't be having that, can we? Over to earthchangesscott.net, we have the Lando Cane, which is the big storm uh, bearing down on the Midwest United States right now. Um, U.S. new storm system brings dangerous thunderstorms and snow. So here we go again. Um, this is just a continual thing here in the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley off the East Coast kind of thing. And this is going to be a few days uh, going, and uh, everybody's on it for that, for sure. Um, they went from snow here on Saturday to a chance of flurries and maybe sleet, um, freezing rain kind of thing. But our temperature's definitely dropping. And uh, it's pretty wet out there. Um, they've got a story on the Indonesia Mirapai Volcano sees new lava dome. I know I mentioned that last night. Um, the activity continues and they're letting everybody know that um, this could go at any time. Scores of earthquakes reported on California Nevada border. Now I've noticed this over the past few days. Uh, we've had a couple of bigger ones, 4.4, 4.1 and um, several smaller trembler quakes on both sides of the border right there. Um, I forget which super volcanoes down there, but isn't there a caldera very close? Uh, that might be some activity right along that fault line, or that area. And then large fires in northern Mexico. Uh, they've got a couple of really big pictures, and apparently the terrain is so rough they can't get land crews down there, and they're having a hell of a time. Uh, controlling these fires. That is about it for me tonight, and of course if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, until I see you again, enjoy while you can everybody. Thanks for all your help.